Hi, I'm Akpab, and today I'm going to be unboxing another doll, one from my lineup. The next one that I have, give me a second, is Rainbow High. No. Pacific Coast. Hi, Pacific Coast. Still the Rainbow High brand. Phaedra and this is I got her for $20 but I didn't I don't remember how much I actually paid for her um because they gave me like a certain amount off for however much you spend I don't remember but this is Phaedra right yes Phaedra Westward and she's from Pacific Coast her box is a bit damaged you can see some of the like rainbow high stuff coming off i don't have any of these dolls when i found her for the price that i did i was really excited i don't have any of them so i was like yeah i need to get her so pacific coast is a dead brand <laughs> um i don't think they're coming back i really want them when they first came out i was like they're practically the same price for hardly anything but like now they're not giving us much outfits so i'm okay but I thought I got her for a good deal. So on the back it says, Meet the Student Pacific Coast, the most elite fine arts high school on the West Coast. Uh, and then it says that in a different, few different languages. So you can see the doll. You can see she comes with just one outfit, the bathing suit that she's wearing, a bag, sunglasses, and a beach towel. And then here's the back. I think that they're absolutely gorgeous. I really like her um whoever this one is i think that's hallie um i think my favorites were these three i really like her she's hard to get um yeah let's get unboxing because i'm really excited to open the doll up she is a cosmetology focus that's neat let's open her up i used to be like really careful opening these dolls up um because I wanted to keep the box and now I just I don't have space so that's not really a worry that I have anymore let's open her up it looks like she comes with a stand which I didn't I couldn't remember if she did or not so that's neat come on doll gotta get the tape off this side oh my gosh I can't get Cut. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Now let's open up the doll and just cut her out. They always have so many ties. I'm always nervous. I'm going to cut the hair. All the things that I usually say. Gorgeous. Come on. She's out of the packaging. She's got a little bit of plastic on her. That's okay. I'm so excited. Ah! Oh! It's so exciting to get to, like, unbox them because... They're so fun. Oh, yes. I don't know why, but I I don't know how. But I forgot that they have a leg gimmick, so I guess we'll see if it's easy or not. But there's also gigantic instructions on how she works. Like, this is pretty big. I feel like the instructions aren't usually that big, but that's okay. I won't be reading it. Um, but she comes with legs, if you can see that. So they're the flat feet so that she can... I guess trade shoes with the other ones because she's on the heeled feet because she has heels, right? A lot of them come with flat feet, I think, because the actual Rainbow High dolls don't come with flat feet, do they? No. But mine has the, I just feel like the gimmick is weird, but it's fun because I would be sad if they didn't have, if they couldn't trade shoes. Um, so she comes with an extra pair of feet. And then now I'm getting her beach towel out, which does feel like a beach towel, kind of. Just, I'm just nervous I'm going to like cut 
into the actual stuff, but that's okay. Sunglasses out. I just want to be able to rip it. Like, there we go. Everything seems to be out of the box. Now I just have to cut some of those ties off so that I can actually open this up. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. There's just so much here. So yeah, she has extra feet and I guess it's so that she can wear the other shoes because a lot of them came with flat feet, but Phaedra comes with heels. So I don't know. just open I feel like I'm cutting part of the towels like fluff and there wouldn't be an issue if they wouldn't do these mini tiny little stakes and then I got like little stakes in them okay so her towel's a bit peely but I'll show you in a second so let's take a look at what she comes with she comes with her towel which I guess I'll show you now do you see those like little fluffies here and then they're on both sides too and it's not even from like my ground it's from the towel but it says Malibu on it and it's really cute it's in her like color scheme and it's a nice size towel compared to the doll like it's she could lay on it like that's nice okay she also comes with her sunglasses which are like a purple see-through kind of sunset color because I guess that's her color scheme. And then she comes with, oh, I forgot to cut that out. Give me a second. She comes with her little brush right here and her stand that you have to piece together. So you just put that in there and then you put this piece in here and then it's a thinner piece so that their arms don't look weird when they stand in their stand. She looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, I love her. So here is Phaedra standing here. She has two pigtails with actual scrunchies in her hair, which is so cute. Um, I feel like that was a really big thing because like Barbie had come out with the plastic scrunchies, but she has real scrunchies. They're gold and black. Her hair is mainly purple with sunset colors, so like yellows, pinks, oranges. She has quite a bit of product at the bottom of her hair. I don't know why. I feel like she genuinely doesn't need it. It's all in the front too because like a lot of this is really nice. It's just in the front. Like it's straight hair. It didn't need it, but that's fine, I guess. Um, yeah, so she's got a very dark purple, some light purple. You can actually see the color schemes better here, like what colors are here. Um, and it's parted through the middle. And then she also has raised painted edges do you see that that's absolutely beautiful like i said she has black and gold scrunchies as well that are a fabric material she has a little visor which is pink black and white and it says rainbow on it she has like reddish orange eyes they're absolutely gorgeous um black and gold eyeshadow and rooted eyelashes she's beautiful and some pretty vibrant pink lips gorgeous she does have movement at the head up there no chest articulation uh she has arm elbow and wrist on both sides uh and then leg and knee and then obviously her legs are changeable oh and upper upper thigh her stand keeps falling off of her she has painted nails you can kind of see oh i did not realize they're different colors so each of her fingers oopsie her hand just popped out yeah her she does not want to have wrists maybe they don't have wrist articulation because like her wrist is not moving it's just popping out that's weird one of her one of them is like insanely long and one of them's insanely short okay and like her wrist even though i think she's supposed to have wrist articulation she doesn't <laughs> like it's not bending but that's okay 
just means no arm posing. Um, but she has painted nails. They're all different colors. Do you see that? Okay, her hair keeps getting in the way. Do you see the different colors? That's super pretty. So then her bathing suit is like snake skin type of vibe is what I'm getting. And there's a little vel Velcro. There's like a little um, zipper that doesn't work. Oh, what's that? I don't know what her zipper is supposed to be shaped like, I'm sorry. But it's like a metallic gold. And then her bathing suit is like that dark purple, light pinks, orange, again, giving very like sunset vibes. She's got a little skirt wrap around her waist, which is really pretty. And it's a one piece bathing suit. Um, and the skirt piece, you can like see it up close. It does Velcro right at that bow piece, but super pretty. Oh, and then the back says rainbow high. Rainbow high on the little visor strap thing. I absolutely love her. And then she has shoes, they're purple. Again, they have that snakeskin kind of vibe. And then they say rainbow at the front. Can you see that? I don't think so. My hand is shaking. I don't think you can see that. It's okay. Let's put her sunglasses on, which I tend to not love sunglasses. And like they're a little peely, but that's okay. I tend to not like the sunglasses because I think that they cover up their face. Oh, I missed the bag. Where did I put the bag? Down here. It's a bag. And it's not my most favorite. But honestly, I think that it would be super nice for holding stuff. It says rainbow on the front. There's gold pieces. It's very like classy is what I'm giving, but I feel like it's definitely like a cute beach bag vibe. And then inside you can see through it. Let's have her holding the bag. Again, she doesn't mind doesn't have wrist articulation. So kind of like holding it definitely where she's gonna keep her sunglasses. Bam, cute. And her towel, which let's see her wearing the towel. And then I'll see if I can get the shoes, the other legs on. Her hair is in the way, which it's good that they have a lot of hair. Cute, I feel like that's how I look with a towel on. <laughs> but it definitely covers her, like it's good. A lot of space. Yeah, definitely gonna have her towel probably in her bag, like slightly hanging out. Let's see if I can get the shoes on or the legs on. I don't, I should probably read the instructions. Where are they? Okay legs it just says okay where's the english <laughs> we nope as an added bonus includes our extra legs and pointed toes to ensure the doll can wear both flat footed sandals and high heels to switch between the fellow pull off the bottom part of the leg make sure to pull from under the knee Okay, let's see how she looks with one flat foot and one non-flat foot. Okay, that wasn't too difficult. Okay, now push. I definitely don't think that it's on all the way, but here's how she looks with her like um pointed foot it's like shiny also i think they're no i think it's the right one like her this foot looks matted this one can you tell which one's pointed and which one's flat flat pointed um but honestly i think you could get away with wearing both <laughs> having both like wanting to style her How cute is she? Um, I definitely like the um, the idea and the concept. Obviously, could they have just added an ankle joint? I feel like it's got to cost more money to make legs, but maybe it doesn't. Maybe it was just cheaper to make the, the legs. I definitely... Looks like her bathing suit's acting a little. Um, I, I definitely think it costs more money to make the legs, but maybe not. 
But here she is, look how cute she is. I absolutely love this doll. I'm so excited to add her to my collection. I don't know where she's gonna stand in the rainbow, but that is completely fine. Um, because she's gonna, she's gonna make some friends up there and she's super cute. Let me know your thoughts about these dolls just cause you know, they're, they've been canceling quite a few of the different Rainbow High brands like Shadow High and stuff. So let me know your thoughts on Phaedra. I hope I'm saying her name right. Also the crunch. <sighs> Okay. I'm gonna have to wash her hair out. It's super soft, by the way. I just want to point that out. It's insanely soft. I hope that I didn't miss anything with her, but also that blanket is shedding all over me. Like, I can't describe to you how much I have blanket shedding on me. But yeah, I'm Max Pad. Thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts on this doll. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Bye!